We look like we're going on a space adventure. Yes. Indiana Jones. Not quite. <laughs> Jumanji. Did you see the new Jumanji? Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so good. I would laugh the whole way through. Oh, when Nick Jonas showed up. Yes. I was, like, I was living. <laughs> living. I know. I met him on a plane. <laughs> Did you really? And I was like, we are meant to be. And you know what's so sad? I recognized his security guard. Oh, really? Because that's how fangirl I was. Like, I was like, oh my god. That's Nick Jonas' I, security guard. I know who he is. And I, I, like know, that story. I know who's close to him. He must be close by. <laughs> <laughs> Snip him out. Snip him out. <laughs> Quite the intro for this. Uh, God, everything's so booby right now. Bougie booby. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? You still there? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. I have Kayla here again for another Hello. collab video. So today we are going to be talking about managing stress as an author. So I really think stress as an author or as a writer can be lumped into four major categories, which are time, expectations, comparison, and uncertainty. So we're going to touch on all four of these categories and talk about ways to kind of mitigate the stress and yeah, how you can just hopefully try to avoid it altogether because stress is bad you know what helps me with um the time aspect is i used to try so so hard to write every single day for a small amount of time and i realized that i write best when i just have a huge block of time for whatever reason and kind of just block that time because i can really feel immersed i don't feel rushed and it's just something that you can kind of experiment with but no matter what i think you should block off a certain time in your schedule just as you would a call or an appointment so that nothing ever comes before it or it kind of gets pushed to the side you have to treat your writing as a priority like as if it's your job so like you would treat anything else that's really important to you that you have to go to you have to treat writing in that way. So making sure you have blocks of time if that works better for you, scheduling designated writing times where you're uninterrupted, you're not distracted, and you're able to get some quality word count in, yep. that's really important. But you have to treat it, You, what was the quote that you said about um, Oh, if you treat hobby. it like a hobby, it'll pay, pay you like a hobby. So you need to treat it like it's your job and it'll pay you like it's your job. So you have to take it seriously and you have to schedule in the time to do it. And honestly, if you're someone who truly loves writing, like how Kayla loves writing and how I love writing, you make time for it. You don't find the time. Time is always there. You make the time. You schedule it into your planner. I'll even put reminders on my phone just reminding me they'll pop up and go off and I'm like, okay, time to go into my office and sit down and start writing. The second one is expectations. And I think this one's really interesting with it being Camp NaNoWriMo and like the NaNoWriMo kind of seasons where people set these goals for themselves that, you know, I'm always about dreaming big and setting big goals for yourself. But if you set goals that you know you're genuinely probably not going to work at, it is going to make you so much more discouraged, less motivated to work towards things in the future. So setting expectations, realistic expectations yeah. around your writing sessions is going to help you manage your stress levels and you're not going to feel so overwhelmed and think to yourself, oh my gosh, I have to get, you know, this many words in today. Um, or like I'm a failure. So you can't have that kind of mindset when you're going into it. Yep. And so you have to kind of set realistic expectations for yourself in your writing sessions. And if you have a certain day that is really, really busy, I mean, it just may not be a day where you're going to be able to fit writing in. Or if you have an emergency pop up, something unexpected happens, you know, these things happen. It's life. And that's just how life rolls. You got to <laughs> roll with the punches <laughs> when you're swung at. That doesn't make any sense, but I think you guys get the gist of it. <laughs> kind of. I would say too, um, I think we see a lot of people online and their highlight reel of, 
you know, whether it be Instagram posts and then posting on Instagram, you know, every single day or, you know, YouTube videos twice a week or one time a week. And that just seems so overwhelming to do that and to write. But you have to realize people are learning their systems and what works best for them. And people have seasons of different things that they're doing and productivity and it's all about kind of creating a system that works for you so maybe you take a ton of instagram and brand photos and then schedule them out for a few months there's so many things that you can think about but if you constantly have this expectation on yourself that you are going to take three instagram photos a day one YouTube video a day and then write 3,000 words a day gonna burn plus out. you you know don't have money yet so you are also going to work a full-time job like that doesn't it doesn't add up and nobody nobody would have very much fun doing that <laughs> so you would burn out and you'd be exhausted and it wouldn't be fun and it's supposed to be fun so you know go at your own pace don't set these crazy high expectations around your author platform around your writing sessions and that will really help you just manage your stress level yeah like know that know the immediate outcome you want you know in that doesn't have to be everything you can do anything but you can't do everything the next thing is comparison which kind of goes hand in hand with expectation because you're really comparing your journey to the people you might see online you might even even if you don't follow them online but you're doing something like NaNoWriMo maybe you see their word count literally going up right um, so it can be really really hard if you're constantly in the state of comparing versus you know feeling inspired or getting motivated absolutely if there's a difference between jealousy and envy and inspiration and motivation they're they're two completely different things so you have to make sure that the people that you're following and maybe the people that like on instagram and you know social media and stuff that they are inspiring and motivating you and i actually say like i've actually unfollowed people if i have needed kind of like a little bit of a break because they've just been posting so much stuff that's so great for them but i if i find myself kind of comparing my journey or where i'm at yep. right now to them in their situation i will just like un i don't block them or anything i just unfollow them for a little bit and then when i'm ready to kind of get back into that mindset or that zone and follow them again then i will totally. that's perfectly healthy like if you see kayla's videos or my videos or our instagrams and they make you feel overwhelmed and stressed out and that's not what you want that's not what you want so it's like it's okay to unfollow people for a little bit if you kind of just need to take a little bit of a break and make figure sure, stuff out. Make sure what you're watching, what you're listening to, what you're surrounding yourself with is things that are giving you ideas, things that you can wake up with and feel motivated in the morning and like educated, not really a place of any sort of negativity or anxiety, yeah. stress, like feeling like you're not doing enough, you're not good enough. So there's either, there's two feelings. There's contraction or expansion and you want to constantly surround yourself with people and things that make you feel expanded so constantly go through your day and try and think about take a conscious note of what's making you feel contracted what activities what things are making you feel contracted and what is making you feel expanded the last thing for managing stress as an author we felt was so important was uncertainty and i really felt like this was for the person that you know had a book idea and would see people online publishing books you know having author platforms and they're sitting there just with their book idea and saying this is all so overwhelming deer in headlights i'm just gonna not oh. do anything with my book idea except maybe watch these videos because i don't know so that uncertainty feeling is almost just stopping you, mm -hmm. right? It's not a feeling of negativity, right? It's not that the people you're following are making you feel negative. It's more of just not having clarity in the roadmap you need to follow, you know, the steps you need to take and exactly how, you know, and exactly where you need to go. 
And part of the, this is the, what I was kind of mentioning with comparison and following and unfollowing people if you're kind of feeling a sort of negativity, but also there's so much information out there online, especially with YouTube and like AuthorTube has really become a thing. Like BookTube was and is still a huge thing. I feel like AuthorTube has really exploded, which is so awesome. But that also means there's so much content out there and so much information. It's overwhelming. It can be very overwhelming. So sometimes it may be best to kind of find an author tuber that you really vibe with that you trust that you feel like you can really like learn from their content and you feel inspired by it and it doesn't make you feel overwhelmed and like ah like i never want to be that author tuber for anybody but i might be a very overwhelming presence for some people that's right. very possible and i don't like i don't want to be that but that might be the case so you have to it's only it's going to be up to you you have to decide for information overload and controlling that and managing your stress like who you should kind of watch and glean insight and information from and who maybe you should kind of back away from a little bit until you can kind of get the train moving and write the book and, you know, start the process. Mm -hmm. I would be really honest with yourself and who you might be comparing yourself to. Yeah, you have to remember that everyone's at different stages in their journey so you think about like a flower that's about to bloom you have some seeds have been germinated some haven't even been planted yet some are just sprouting some are in full bloom and some are entire rose bushes so if you imagine it as everyone's in a different stage in their author journey so it's great to have aspirations and to be like i really like what this person's doing and i want to i want to do that and i want to be like that it's great to have those goals but be careful like don't fall into the comparison trap because you have to remember that everyone starts from ground zero. We all start at the bottom with like zero connection, zero network, and we're all just kind of like blazing our own paths and our own trails as we go along. Mm -hmm. So there's no one right way to do it. I think you'll see that more and more, you know, yes. as time goes by um, with anything, how people go on there. Everyone's going to have their, their paths and they may start out very similar, but I think we're all going to kind of it's gonna diverge and then come back together and it's it's gonna go off in different directions. And still, it's just managing your stress. You just need to make sure that you are absorbing the information that is adding value and making you feel inspired and motivated. And I think what's so important about what you just said is about to know your outcome and who you are because if you follow everything that the people online are doing, we all have so much different things going on on this end that it, it wouldn't make sense to follow what we're doing because you have to know your outcome what you're trying to get whether it be you know to be traditionally published and still have that job you love or you know be an actual publishing house and just publish other people's work you know of course you should have a platform i believe you know things like that but just following what other people are doing because you see that they have success doesn't make sense. So I say that in this video for managing stress because if you follow other people, you're gonna waste a lot of time and energy and that's gonna stress you out. So know your outcome and reverse engineer it so you know exactly how to get there. Okay, so that is it. Those are our tips for managing stress as an author. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. Don't forget to check out Kayla's channel. I will leave the links and all of that in the description box below. Check out all of the collab videos that we did as well as the AuthorTube retreat collabs. Don't know if they're gonna be up when I'm filming this. I'm sure they are. <laughs> this outro, but I'm not gonna do my whole normal spiel because we've got some more videos that we are going to film. So again, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Are you all buckled in? <laughs> I'm strapped up ready to go on this train. Did it normally do that with the thing with our faces with the squares around our faces? Yeah. It's always done that? Yeah, my camera does it all the time. Oh, okay. I think I must have clicked a button because mine never did that. Oh. It's like a a steady like thrumming, like going <laughs> on. <Thrumming. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I really think we can lump the stress of <laughs> So I really feel as though stress as a writer or as an author, are you still laughing? I was thinking about if I vlogged behind the scenes of us making a video. That's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> what is the sound? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Bless you. you know exactly when to say it.